We begin tonight with continuing coverage of the Davenport building collapse. Three bodies were recovered from the rubble over the weekend. Brandon Colvin, Ryan Hitchcock, and Daniel Prien died in the collapse. A resident of the building has also filed a lawsuit against the building's owner and the city of Davenport, along with engineers and contractors who worked on the building. Davenport Mayor Mike Matson says the city is keeping tabs on cleanup costs, but it is unclear right now who will pay for it. Eight days after the building's collapse, we continue to get more answers from local officials. News 8's Joe McCoy is live in downtown Davenport tonight. Joe, what is the situation there right now? John, only a handful of people really remain to watch the work that goes on beyond the fence. This is probably the smallest I've seen the crowd since the building collapsed on Sunday. But we did receive some clarity today on the three men that were unaccounted for. Davenport city officials this morning confirming what we all have feared to be true. Three victims have been recovered from the scene over the past 48 hours. All three men that were unaccounted for now confirmed dead. On Saturday, June 3rd, 2023 at 11:59 a.m. a victim was recovered and forensically identified as Brandon Colvin senior on Sunday June 4th 2023 at 12:25 p.m. victim recovered and forensically identified as Ryan Hitchcock and on Monday June 5th 2023 at 2:30 a.m. A victim was recovered and forensically identified as Daniel Prien. The families notified of their loss as the community remains frustrated. Continue to honor those families, continue to respect the families and what we do and how we act uh, and keep them in your thoughts and prayers. We don't have any other information at this time that there is any additional people missing. Now the investigation will soon transition to its next stage. We're working with multiple structural experts from all around the country uh, to understand how best to proceed and do this in a dignified manner. Mayor Mike Matson also addressing the 911 call made by a contractor on Saturday, warning Davenport officials the building could collapse at any moment. I want to ensure the public that we are looking into this. Right now, as I'm sure you can understand, our focus has been on the families of the victims and the ongoing recovering efforts. Governor Kim Reynolds met with the city today and autopsies will be done on all three victims, hopefully bringing clarity to when they died. John, we are not sure yet if there is another scheduled press conference tomorrow. As the city of Davenport said in, this, in the story, they really are just focused right now on the families of the victims before they move on to that next stage. John. All right, thank you, Joe. A resident of the collapsed building is now suing the city of Davenport and the building's current owner. The suit alleges both the city and the owner knew about the unsafe conditions of the building and failed to warn residents. The resident retained the same law firm that represented residents of the Surfside condominium collapse that happened two years ago in Florida. This lawsuit says more lawsuits are likely.